Okay, girls. I was in my salon doing 14 clients a day. I did not have time for lifting. I did not have time for breaking. I did not have time for repairs. And I know that you are have in the same situation. You've got client, 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 client. And when somebody comes in and they have a bunch of lifting and they have a bunch of repairs, it gets you behind. Well, lifting is my pet peeve. I cannot stand when my nails lift. It makes me insane. What happens when you use a drill to etch the nail? First couple times you do it, works pretty good. Well, every time you do it, what are you doing to that natural nail? Just a hole. Removing. Removing it, removing more natural nail, removing more natural nail, removing more natural nail. Before you know it, those nails are so thin then the client has real lifting problems because that natural nail has gotten so thin. And then you drill it more, and you drill it more. And what you get is you get a super thin nail with rings of fire. You ever seen the little red, they call it the rings of fire? That's from using that drill. Now, I went from eight hours to 20 minutes without using a drill. Yeah. Okay? So, is a drill faster? Yeah. No way. I have, and I have used that drill every which way you could possibly think of to try to figure out if there's a faster, better way of doing it. Drill does not make it faster <laughs> because you still got to finish it. Yeah. Okay? So, we etch with 100 grit purple terminator, and this is my most favorite, favorite, favorite thing in my nail kit, my etcher. I love my etcher. This is the purple terminator, purple terminator paper, the 100 grit, and put this on the little stick here, and this is what you use to etch your nail. It is at its awesome. just like that, mm -hmm. okay? And that's how you etch your nail. And you go with the way the nail grows. Now, when I etch the nail, I do not go like this on the nail to etch the nail because it rips the nail up, okay? I go with the way the nail grows. And I make little hills and valleys in that natural nail and that's what the primer and the acrylic suck into and make the nail stick. Now when I go sideways, for one thing, I'm ripping up that nail. I also am causing the grooves to go the wrong direction. We want the grooves to go this way, okay? Cuticle to free edge. And this promotes the best adhesion without damage to the natural nail. Now, the, when you use a buffer, because a lot of girls are going, well, I just use a buffer, I don't etch the nail, because I don't like to etch the nail, I just use a buffer on the nail. I said, okay, what happens when you just buff the nail? It causes the nail to be smooth, and what is the acrylic going to stick to? Mm -hmm. Right? It can't stick to a smooth surface, it has to have that roughed up, porous surface in order for it to stick. So the least abrasive, most, I mean 100% effective is your purple terminator. You go with the way the nail grows and you etch that nail. And if there's any shiny spots, you're going to have lifting. Okay? And because acrylic, gel, whatever it is, cannot stick to shiny spots, okay? So, we etch the nail with the way the nail grows. And that's with your 100 grit purple terminator. Best, 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 eliminate 75% of all lifting. And what's the motto at Tammy Taylor Nails? Nails are always fun and never feel like work, <laughs> right?